Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics. So in this question, we have been given this counter circuit and here we have been asked to find when the switch is closed then how this counter circuit will behave. So first of all, let us understand how this circuit will behave. So initially, this switch is in the open condition. So in this condition, the supply voltage is connected to this preset input and as you can see, here this preset input is the active low meaning that when this input is high then it will not affect the regular function of this flip flop and whenever it becomes low then irrespective of the inputs of the flip flop the output of this JK flip flop will become 1. So when this switch is in the open condition then this point is connected to the VCC or we can say that this input A is equal to 1 and the preset input will also get disabled. So in this condition, at every clock pulse, this output of this JK flip-flop will toggle. So this output is equal to Q0 and that is the LSB of the counter. So in this condition, since A is equal to 1, so the output of this first AND gate will become Q0. And since A is equal to 1, so this A bar will become 0. That means in this condition, the output of the second AND gate will be equal to 0. So if we see this output of the OR gate, then that is equal to Q0 plus 0 and that is equal to Q0. That means whenever this switch is in the open condition, then the Q0 output will get connected to the clock input of the next flip flop. And in this condition, if we see the equivalent circuit, then it will look like this. So in this condition, if you see, then the output of the JK flip flop is connected to the clock input of the next stage. And here, all the JK flip-flops are the positive H ticket flip-flops. That means here, this 3-bit counter will act as a down counter. That means this counter will count from 111 to 000. Or in other words, we can say that when this switch is in the open condition, then it will count both odd and the even numbers. So now let us see how this counter circuit will behave when the switch gets closed. So whenever this switch gets closed, then this A input is equal to 0 and the same 0 will also get applied to this preset input. And since the preset input is 0, so irrespective of the input and the clock signal, the output of this first JKL flip flop will remain 1. So in this condition if you see, then A is equal to 0. That means this A bar will become 1. So in this condition, the output of this first AND gate will become 0. And in this condition, if you see the output of the second AND gate, then it will pass this clock signal. Because here, this A bar is equal to 1. That means this second AND gate will pass the clock signal as it is. And the same signal will also appear at the output of the OR gate. So you can see that this clock signal will get directly connected to the clock input of this second stage. So here if you see, then all the flip-flops are the positive H triggered flip-flops. And here, this Q output of the flip-flop is connected to the clock input of the next stage. That means here, the last two flip-flops will count in the downward direction. And here, as far as this switch remains in the closed condition, this Q0 output will remain 1. That means now, in this condition, the Q0 will remain 1, while the Q1 and Q2 will count in the downward direction. So initially, if this Q1 and Q2 are 0, 0, then in the next state, it will become 1 1 and then after it will count in the downward direction. On the other end, if you see this Q0 output, then it will remain permanently 1. So in this condition, these are the counts of the counter. So now let us write the decimal equivalent of this each count. So here this 0 0 1 corresponds to 1. Likewise, this 1 1 1 corresponds to 7 and similarly, this 101 corresponds to 5, while 011 corresponds to 3. And once again, the count will go to the 001, that corresponds to 1. So here, if you see the count of the counter, then each count represents the odd number. So from this we can say that, when the switch gets closed, then the counter will count only the odd numbers. And whenever the switch is in the open condition, then it will count both odd and the even numbers. So from this we can say that for the given question, 
this b is the correct answer